you guys remember the Raspberry Pi? That little computer the size of a credit card? It let millions of people build awesome shit at home for the first time. All for 35 bucks. Well, it's been a decade since it came out, and nothing with that impact has been released since. But there's two guys here who might just be making the next Raspberry Pi. Yo, boys. Yo, hey, you doing? Okay, so you guys are making a plug-and-play AI model. I mean, we are basically building a 3D model that has over 100 IQ. We saw internet, we saw the subscription payment. All right, let me explain what that means and why it's huge. On this small chip, they're running an AI model with 3 billion parameters, which are sort of like the knobs an AI model can turn to give more accurate results. 3 billion is the same number of parameters that the new Apple intelligence model has. But Apple has billions of dollars in manufacturing and researchers. Kevin and Tanchi don't. Our goal is to lower the internet barrier for the developer so the rest of the world will make use of it. This wasn't possible like two months ago. It's just improving so fast. It's able to surpass ChatGPT 3.5 and only consume 5 watts and you can bring it anywhere. What that means is that anybody with an idea for an AI hardware device can build it for a price they can actually afford. People are already making pretty crazy shit with their module like toys that can talk with AI, or a survival guide that works without the internet. I just feel that's a like, no-brainer to build it now, yeah. Someone had to make it easier for other people to develop on it. 